Hello guys, welcome back again. In this session, we're gonna see how we can create a sample API test and we're gonna create one test runner where we're gonna trigger all the JUnit files from there. In the last session, we have seen how we have created a project and reduction towards the Karate framework. In case if you are new to this session, do watch my earlier session so that this will be a continuation of it and you can do practicals with me. So let's get started. And this is our framework or a project that we created in the last session. Now we're going to simply go to this source test Java and we're going to simply go to new and we're going to simply create a package. So this package is testing Karate APIs. So this is our package and under this I'm going to create new this time I'm going to create one test runner file test so test runner is more important when we are dealing with the cucumbers or a BDD framework so we need to configure this first and then we're going to create a test right so we have just created a runner class file and now we're going to simply do a at the rate run with so run with let's see this is a JUnit runner right and under that we're gonna create karate so karate dot class so this is simply done so we are prepared with our test runner file and now go to the same package source test testing karate apis and right click there and simply go to new this time we're gonna create a file so this file is first demo test dot feature so as cucumber files contains a feature files all the feature files are containing an extension called dot feature so whatever file name you give but at the end you need to provide dot feature and click on finish and this will create some tutorial or some readme kind of a document here so you can refer to this or you can continue with this so i'm gonna remove a couple of things like comments and all this details from there and right right so this is an actual structure of our feature file so in the feature, it says what feature that we're going to test or what feature that we're going to develop in automation, like simply a home page or a login page. And under that login page, what you're going to test. So that is called a scenario, a positive test case, like login into the application is a test case. Verify something on the dashboard is one test case. And after that, and before to it, you have this tags. So like, segregating each scenario or each test file into a different category we use the stacks and we have the given and when and then so given is something like a precondition so do this thing before i start something like in a given statement what generally we give we give the urls and then we're gonna have when so after hitting that url when you see something what you're gonna do so that is the when condition and then you have a then so once you hit something you got some uh, results so then you wanted to verify something or you wanted to see something or verify check a validation and and is something with addition to the above step i wanted to do this step as well so this is something a short description about the feature file and in case if you wanted to understand entire feature file so i have prepared a cucumber bdd tutorial i will share that link in the description you can find from there you can learn entirely the bdd framework on cucumber feature file details so i'm going to simply remove a couple of information from here so this is demo api testing using karate framework so we're gonna use this title as get api testing right so we need only this thing right given 
and you might be wondering sir how i get apis or how i get a free apis to test so one who are in the actual project they will get their own apis with respect to their application but uh, one who is learning or one who is practicing they need some apis so for that we have a website so go to google search you can type req res so rest services so this is the website where you can get all the free apis and we're going to use one of it so this is the get for get users list or you can go for single user so that the response data is simple so i'm going to use this endpoint right i'm going to use this uri with endpoint and go to the eclipse and here we need to simply type url url and single quotation under that single quotation mention this uri and after that when you complete given statement we're going to expect when statement right so when so what is this method so it is a get method or post method or put method so we need to mention that to mention that we're going to use method and we're going to use get right so this is something generally we do in or we see in the post method get post put so likewise we need to put the statement here and then we need to verify a then statement so once this is done i'm going to expect a status code or status line so for that i'm going to use status 200 so this is all done so we are ready with our simple test so i'm going to right click and do a pretty format after that pretty format i'm gonna simply right click to this feature file and go to run as and cucumber feature so i'm gonna save this program entirely and okay so it is running now you can see this is console log so i'm gonna expand this console log right it has executed something i'm not sure what it happened it has given many logs here I'm not sure what all of this so for the first time user you will see they like this right so don't worry about this all this logs so come back to project and refresh right so once you refresh you will see this target folder in the target folder there are some folders created go to that folder expand this karate reports and then you have summary karate summary html right click and this time open with web browser right it has opened in the web browser now you can see this is the logo of karate labs and then you see green and red one is passed zero is failed and this is the features so what features that we have tested so this is the time where we tested one so now it is around 11 43 pm and this is the tags this is the timelines so we're gonna click on this tags so we use one tag right so we have used one tag within the program so you can refer to the tag and once you see this feature you can select this feature now you can see what all things that we perform we perform get uri and get url which is a url endpoint and then we did the get method so get method has some logs so it has shown uh, many details here so these details are generally when we hit any service we get some request parameters query parameters cookies and responses so all these details are captured here and from this whatever information i get and from that information i'm gonna see status code 200 or not so all are passed now you can see the report is in green go back to the eclipse and i see there is an error in my program right uh, it is in the test under file so generally i have imported from karate jnit4 okay the pom.xml karate core okay I am gonna simply replace with 4 jnit4 I am using a jnit5 so I am gonna simply replace jnit4 I think this resolves issue 
because I'm using JUnit 4, but for some reason I forgot where my pom.xml is referring to file. So all is done. So this is all about the test runner file and faster demo test in the feature file. So this is for this session. And in case if you like the session, do post a like and share with a colleague. And if you have any questions, queries, do post in my comment section. I will help you out. And thank you for watching.